Hey everybody, today's video brings us out to Epcot here at Walt Disney World. We're back at, we're back at Epcot. Actually, I'm back at my van right now because I was an idiot and I completely forgot the postcards I have to mail out. That was the whole, listen to my shoes. Can you hear them? They're squeaky. It's not even my shoes that I think are squeaky. It's somehow my socks, if that makes any sense. I actually bought brand new socks for this trip because I don't know, I just, my socks were getting old. Sometimes you need to buy new socks and I, I bought new socks and um, ever since I bought new socks, my shoes have squeaked. Why is that? Leave comments down below if you know why my new socks are making my shoes that never squeaked before squeaky. It's kind of weird. It's kind of bizarre. I don't like it because now I sound like a clown as I walk around. Any, ooh, that rhymed. Poet? And I didn't even know it. Anyway, so we, uh, we got into Epcot. We've actually already been on Guardians of the Galaxy, the new attraction they have here that I'm not the biggest fan of. <laughs> I, I find it to be, I find that attraction to be okay. It's not that I dislike the attraction. I don't, I don't not like the attraction. It just gets so much hype. Look at this guy. Why do they, why do they park somebody like this? That, that truck is way too big to have a car parked behind it. Sometimes I don't get Disney in their, their parking or maybe, maybe Disney did not park them there. Maybe actually Disney might've been smart. Disney might have actually left that spot open. And then somebody drove down here and I said, Ooh, a spot. And they took it and they really weren't supposed to park there. That's actually probably more likely what happened. I shouldn't just immediately jump the gun and blame Disney for, uh, for that. Probably wasn't Disney. Anyway, so Guardians of the Galaxy, not my most favorite attraction. It's not bad. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I'd recommend going on it, but uh, I don't know. It really does feel like, I think I've explained this before, but it does feel like you're inside a box That's it, with, with projections on the walls. And that's my, my biggest issue with that attraction. It's that it does feel like that. It's not like, um, for instance, Gringotts over in Universal. And yes, I'm, I'm praising Universal over Disney right now. It's not like Gringotts where, in my opinion, same type of attraction, just better better done. You're you're in a, it's, it's a roller coaster in, indoors and your car's moving around and it's always facing what it wants you to face. It's pretty awesome. Gringotts, is, that, that's what Gringotts is. That's what Guardians of the Galaxy is. It's just that Green Gods, I feel, does it better. At no point do I feel like I'm in a giant box. You are in a giant box. I mean, you're in a big show building when you're in Green Gods, but at no point do I feel like that. Whereas in Guardians, there's a big, there's a big blue building right there. The entire time, I feel like I'm in a giant blue building with just things being projected onto a wall. So, I don't know. Ooh, Penny. Now you're gonna say you're gonna say wait, it's heads down, but no, I go by the I go by the rules of of uh, Greece. And the rules are, see a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. No heads up, no, 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 no heads up, no tails up, heads up, heads down. It's all just about the, uh, the good luck of actually finding a penny. That's not, ooh, there's a van coming this way. I'm not, I'm not gonna go that way. So anyway, I, yeah, I go by the rules of Greece. I know we're all over the place in this, this video today. This video is supposed to be about postcards. I mean, mailing out postcards to you guys. But like I said, I actually forgot the postcards back in the van. So I had to walk all the way out. There's Epcot right there. I had to walk all the way back out to the van just to get the postcards to mail them off to you guys today. I actually thought about maybe just doing a different video because I didn't feel like coming all the way back out to the, the van. The sun, is a, it, the sun is pretty crazy bright today. Honestly, the weather is not bad today. It's actually fairly decent uh, temperature wise and there's a nice breeze blowing. It's pretty nice. And every time the sun goes behind a cloud, it, really, it does feel really nice out here. And then the sun does this where it comes out and it just, it's just, Brutal, it just beats on you. The Florida sun, man, it is not to be messed with. It is, it is hardcore and I don't, I don't like it. But that being said, yes, I do still want to move down here and I will still move down here. But anyway, so I had to go, oh, oh they're cutting, they're like cutting trees down over there. I was like, what's that noise? I thought maybe there was a car accident. No, that's, that's construction going on there. Yeah, they're, they're completely ripping down a tree. That is interesting. I wonder what that's about. Maybe they're extending the, the parking or something? I have no idea. They're definitely ripping trees down though. You never know at Disney. They're always, always doing something, always some kind of construction going on at Disney. Right now, they're literally using a, like a caterpillar, a dump truck, not dump truck, a um, excavator. No, what's the thing with the big backhoe? Backhoe? Backhoe, I think is what it's called. They're using a backhoe to rip trees out of the ground over there. Weird. Again, but not as weird as this vlog uh, that's all over the place. We're talking about me of getting postcards. We're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. We're talking about the weather. 
all kinds of stuff going on in today's vlog. But like I said, today's vlog got kind of messed up because of me forgetting the postcards in the uh, in the van. I was definitely going to possibly do something else. I was like, well, I could film something else. I don't have to go back into the van. I can film something else in Epcot. And then tomorrow, I can send out postcards. But I figured for, for I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back out to the van and get the postcards. Because why? Why not? That was the plan of today. That's what I'm gonna do today. Your spaceship Earth. They actually renamed all the all the parking structures and all the parking lots. A lot of people are upset. I agree. There's Moana right there. I kind of agree. It's, Disney's all about the the incorporation of their intellectual properties, their IPs. I, ooh, monorail. Disney is all about their IPs, their intellectual in, intellectual properties, and just sticking them on everything nowadays. Epcot used to be more about science and nature and discovery and the world and just knowledge, basically. And now it's turning into a Magic Kingdom 2.0 where they're just throwing you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and they're doing a new, new Moana and they put Frozen in and Finding Nemo and all these different attractions. And don't get me wrong, I like all the attractions, they're fun attractions, but I'd rather do something more science-based. I'd rather some more properties here that had nothing to do with with Disney IPs. That would be nice. That would be preferred. That's how it used to be. It used to be a lot of characters and attractions and rides that had nothing to do with characters and attractions from the movies. That's why Figment is one of my all-time favorite Disney characters. Because I mean, rumor has it he might be getting a movie on like Disney Plus or something, which would be pretty cool. But he didn't originally have a movie. He was a character designed specifically for Epcot. And a lot of the characters here were designed specifically for Epcot. And a lot of those characters, actually, I think pretty much, I think all those characters, I could be wrong, but I think all those characters are actually gone with the exception of Figment. I think Figment's the only original character that was designed for Epcot that's actually still around, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to put you guys down in a second. We're gonna go through, we're gonna go through security. They do not let you film in security. I'm gonna get my keys out. I'm gonna get my wallet out. Get everything I could possibly set off. Security. All right, give me, give me one second. I'll be right back. You're gonna look at the ground for like a 30 seconds. Uh, ECB, ECB is to the left and the white right side. Okay. Everybody else gotta go right down the middle. Right down there, folks. We're through. I've actually tried to film through security before. They were not fans of that. So as long as the phone's kind of facing down and you're not really filming anything important, they're kind of okay with you filming. But uh, just don't have the camera out like this. They do not like that. They give you a hard time. They did to put that camera down. Put that camera down now. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I kind of I kind of feel like watching uh, some Christmas movies now that I said that. Oh, it's so good to be here under the shade. But now we're about to walk back into the sun. Got to actually use my my magic band that I actually keep I'm keeping my keys. I don't have I don't wear a magic band around my wrist. I'm not a big fan of that. It makes your wrist all sweaty. They have those new magic band pluses. Magic band, the new magic band plus, which say plus is, or just magic band plus. I don't know. They have the new magic bands. My son has one. My wife has one. Actually, technically, I have one. It's a figment one, but I um, I don't actually have it on me. I have it in the display case. And there we go. I'm in. It used to say, welcome home, because I'm DVC, but now it doesn't say that anymore. I actually really get bummed out by the fact that it doesn't say, welcome home anymore. Look at, the, look at that. How beautiful is that? Spaceship Earth. For those of you who do not know, there's actually a ride inside there, an attraction inside there called Spaceship Earth. My son, my wife are actually probably on that right now. I chose to skip that attraction at the moment to go get the postcards. I'll do a whole video on it at some point, but uh, for those of you who do not know, I do suffer from agoraphobia, which is a form of anxiety. And it does make riding attractions difficult sometimes. And Spaceship Earth has become one of those attractions that's kind of difficult for me to ride. I was thinking about doing a whole video just talking about my anxiety, my agoraphobia, and how it works in the parks, and how it 
what it hinders and how I deal with it in the parks, or at least try to deal with it in the parks. If you guys actually wanna see a video on that, leave a comment down below. I'll actually do a whole video on that at some point this trip, if you guys wanna see that. So let me know. There's a bunch of, bunch of cheerleaders down here. You have all kinds of competitions, sports competitions, cheer, I mean, I know cheerleading, I guess, is a sport, but all kinds of sports competitions like cheerleading and baseball and stuff like that. I'm trying to see if I can actually see my wife and son. They might be in line. I don't know if they're in line. Um, they might actually be on the, I don't know if they're in line or, there's a quite, quite a long line. They're either on, in line or they're, they're already on the attraction. I don't know. It did take me a little while to walk out to the, the van. All right, so we got the postcards here. This is what this whole video is gonna be about. Let me get the postcards actually out of this bag, if I can, with one hand. There we go. So as you can see, I got all the postcards for you guys right here. We're actually gonna put them in a very special, let me, let me throw this in the trash. I'm gonna put these in a very special mailbox here in Epcot. A mailbox that actually I was not able to find right away. I um, did not know what this mailbox was. I was told there was a mailbox up here somewhere, and I walked into the, I came into the locker area, and I'm thinking, where's, where's this, where's this mailbox? There's a mailbox supposedly up here, right by the lockers, right by the bathrooms, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And then, and then I found it right, right here. Not only, not only kind of hidden, but actually painted the same exact color as the wall, which makes it really difficult to, to actually send these out. Look at that. There you go. There's the. Should I do, should I do a thumbnail? Loud trash here. We can do like. That should be a good thumbnail, right? I don't know. All right, we're gonna send the postcards out to you guys. For those of you who are patrons, for those, <laughs> for, for, for those, for those of you who are patrons, there, there, there you go. Your postcards have been mailed out from here in Epcot. This postcard should be to you in just a couple of days. I guess unless you live overseas, in which case maybe it'll take like a week or two. I know they take a little longer to get to you guys, but there you go. Po postcards of Patreons have been mailed out. They're actually all um, St. Augustine and Lighthouse postcards. Last time uh, I was down here, I drove home. I stopped at the St. Augustine Lighthouse just to check it out. I did not get to go in it, unfortunately, but I got to check it out and uh, picked up a bunch of postcards for you guys, and they've just been mailed out. So there you go. Patreon postcards are in the way. If you guys do become a patron, it really does help support the show. It really does um, you know, help with gas and Vanabelle so we can go to interesting places, do interesting things. It does help support the show. The show is not free for me. It's free for you, but it's not free for me. It does cost me money to, uh, to keep this show going. So with that being said, if you guys wanted to, uh, to help support the show, I would appreciate it. And you will get postcards actually sent to you. So, all right guys, with that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wait for my family to get off the, uh, the attraction here. The music also sounds like it's getting very loud for some reason. I'm gonna wait for the family to get off the attraction off Spaceship Earth right there. Beautiful, I love it. World's largest geodesic sphere. And then after they get off, I'm getting some lunch. I am, I'm starving. It's like, I don't know, maybe coming up one o'clock in the afternoon at this point, and I have not eaten yet today. And uh, I want to go on some more attractions. Like I said, we did, we did Guardians, which is okay. <laughs> it does feel like you're in a giant box with things being projected onto a wall. I don't get the hype, but it's all right. It's an okay attraction. I don't know what I want to ride. My son really wanted to go on Spaceship Birth. Like, so they're on that now. What do I want to go? You know what? I want to go on Journey, Journey into Imagination, the Figment attraction, because you guys know how much I love my Figment. That's what I want to ride today. Last time we were here in Epcot, we did not get to go on Journey into Imagination. We just ran out of time. Also, Frozen was down last time we were here. I wonder if Frozen's back up. If Frozen is back up, I definitely want to get on Frozen Ever After. I wish it was Maelstrom, but whatever. I, I, at least they have an attraction. I want to get on it. So you can see the whole new whole, <laughs> You can see the whole new Moana, like water walkthrough thing that they're building over here, which is pretty crazy. Looking forward to that. It should be interesting. I don't like getting wet, but should be interesting. I mean, it's kind of weird. But also kind of interesting. Looking forward to seeing that built. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go because I guess my family is getting on the ride. They should be getting off probably sometime in the not too distant future. And I'm gonna go get myself like a slice of pizza. I'm gonna keep it good today. I usually go with pepperoni pizza, but today I think I'm gonna go with uh, just a slice of plain. Keep it simple. Not so greasy. Not so. It's too hot for greasy right now. I'm just gonna get a nice slice of just plain, plain Jane, ordinary pizza. All right, guys, I know, weird video today. We were kind of all over the place, but this was supposed to be just a, a simple, I'm um, sending out postcards video, and it turned into 
a lot more than that. But I hope you guys watched this video, or I hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully I hope you guys watched this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hashtag, I don't know, enjoyed, enjoyed the show. That, there you go, enjoyed the show. Hashtag that down below. If you enjoyed watching today's weird video, again, that was kind of all over the place, the magic of possibility. That's what this show's all about. All right, guys, like I said, I'm gonna go away from my family. I'm gonna go get myself some pizza. I'm starving. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Postcards for your patrons are on their way. I really do appreciate you guys helping out for those of you who are patrons. And even just if you watch the show, I appreciate it. I think Minnie Mouse is actually over here. Let's go check out Minnie Mouse quick before we end this video. So if Mickey Mouse is over here, that'd be pretty cool to see. She was out here earlier. There's a line, so I'm assuming Mickey Mouse. Actually, usually, usually Pluto is over here. But earlier today, Minnie Mouse. Did I say Mickey or did I say Minnie? Minnie Mouse is over here. At least she was. Is she still here? No, she's not here right now. She's probably on break. So all these people right here waiting in line to meet Minnie Mouse. Honestly, if I just stood around here, Minnie Mouse would probably come walking out of somewhere over here at some point, but I don't know if that's going to be in one. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> that little girl, the little girl in the Minnie Mouse dress fooled me. thought that was actually Minnie Mouse. I got excited there for a second. I thought she was actually standing out here and I missed her somehow. Yeah, I don't know if Minnie Mouse is going to take a minute to come out or 10 minutes to come out. I don't know how long these people are going to be waiting here, so... I'm gonna let you guys go. All right, guys, Ooh, it's hot. I'm just gonna, hold on, stand in the shade. That's better, so all right, guys. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for links at Patreon. Again, if you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road, sometimes even from right here in Epcot at the hidden green Epcot mailbox there over by the bathrooms. And I feel like I'm walking towards speakers. I should not be doing that, it's gonna get very, very copywritten in any any second now. So anyway, guys, like I said, check down below for links to Patreon. You guys do become a patron. I will send you a postcard. It does help support the show. Really, really do appreciate that. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We're gonna grab yourself retro rest out t-shirts because proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon really do good help supporting this show and keeping the show going. So I really do appreciate that. But all right, guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. Amazing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.